Hi, Nathaniel. Um, I got your email, and I'm just taking a shot in the dark here in terms of the worksheet, in terms of which question you're looking for help with. Um, I thought it wouldn't be a bad idea anyway for me to just get you started on some of these questions, and that way you can check to make sure you're doing them correctly. So if we have a look at number four, if you identify the sides according to the angle that you're given, then this side over here, the X, is side um, adjacent and the 38 is the hypotenuse and so we're dealing with the cosine ratio so what we do is we set it up as cosine of 48 equals adjacent over hypotenuse so that will be x over 38 and then when you multiply the cosine of, four, of uh, 48 times 38 that will give you x so you're just going to take this 38 over to the other side because it's divided on the right side, we do the opposite operation with the equation solving and we multiply on the left side. So if you take the cosine of 48 and you multiply that by 38, um, then let's see what we get here. Cosine of 48 times 38, 25.4. Meters. Okay, keep in mind that your hypotenuse is always the longest side of your right angle triangle, and also that your biggest angle is always across from the biggest side, and your smallest angle, which is in this case going to be the 42 down in angle C, is going to be across from the smallest side. And so when you look at your value that you got, 25.4 is obviously smaller than the hypotenuse and so um, because it's in that same range 25 and 38 are at least close enough um, then that you know seems like a reasonable answer so you can be pretty sure that you have the right answer if you think it through that way so same thing with number five I won't go through the whole solution this time but if you have the angle 51 given at angle D then Y is the opposite side of your triangle and the hypotenuse is 83 and so this one's going to be the sine ratio sine of 51 equals y over 83 and you can then multiply 83 times sine of 51 and then obviously uh, for g uh, for number six we're going to be dealing with opposite and adjacent therefore tan of 51 So I hope that helps you get started. Um, one thing to watch out for here is I'm just looking at, uh, no, nope, that's good. Um, sorry, I was thinking that it would be the upside down um, fraction where we had the unknown on the bottom, but no, we'll end up with uh, Z over 57. So everything's fine there. Um, so I hope that helps you get started. And um, if uh, 11 o'clock works for you, then great. And we'll Skype then and go over it a little further.